the depth of the lake and the ripples and the beautiful reflection of the glacier reminds me of the story of inner life. The mind is deep like a lake. The ripples on the surface represent the conscious mind, the activity of the mind on the surface. And the whole depth of the lake is silent. And that is the subconscious mind which is not used by the waves. But if the waves could deepen and incorporate more silent levels of the water, the waves could become the waves of the ocean, the mighty waves. This is what happens in transcendental meditation. The surface activity of the conscious mind deepens and incorporates within its fold the depth of the subconscious. And with practice, nothing remains subconscious. Hmm? The whole subconscious becomes conscious. And a man starts using full potential of the mind. And the reflection of the glacier on the water is like the impression of the objects that the mind perceives. And as long as the mind is not capable of maintaining its essential nature, which is bliss consciousness, so long the mind gets imprinted by the perceptions of the objects. And this is called the bondage of the mind. The mind loses bliss consciousness and gains the joy of the reflections of the world, the joy of the relative order, losing the bliss of the absolute, eternal being. When the mind is not capable of maintaining its essential nature, the bliss consciousness, and is overshadowed by the reflections of the object of perception, then only the object remains and the subject as if becomes annihilated. This annihilation of the subjective nature within is a great loss. It's a loss of eternal bliss at the cost of temporary joys. Such a life where the value of the matter dominates is called material life and the spirit gets annihilated. But when through the practice of transcendental meditation, the mind goes deep within to the source of thought, transcends the thought and gains bliss consciousness and is capable of maintaining that even when it comes out into the world, the experience of objective nature, then it is called spiritual life, that the spirit is not capable of being overshadowed anymore by the objective experience. And this is spiritual life. This is life in eternal liberation. And without this, life is in bondage. A great loss. As if loss of a billion pounds and gain of a million. Loss of eternal bliss consciousness and gain of a worldly fleeting joy. The vision, the vision of the lake brings about a great teaching of spiritual life. Life is bliss. It's pure existence. Just like the flower is, the sap. different layers of manifestation of pure existence, pure being, absolute consciousness, pure intelligence. This is what life is. And as it expresses itself, it expresses in layers of existence, layers of energy, layers of intelligence, layers of bliss, happiness. This is life.
all this beautiful nature. <laughs> People in their sad and miserable moods, in their stressed and strained life, even if they come out to this beautiful nature, they can't enjoy. What is needed is the bliss out of transcendental meditation, the joy, the happy mood. If all the population of the people could practice transcendental meditation, they'll enjoy all this nature to the maximum. Hmm? We are going to create a society free from suffering and stress and strain. And then really the gift of God on earth, such pretty nature will be enjoyed by everyone.